I, uh, I messed up. It's really hard for me to admit that sometimes, but yeah, this time, guys, I messed up. Ah. So thankfully we didn't get too far along on this motor since the last since the last build video you saw with this motor I haven't touched it in that upload I got flooded with comments and messages letting me know that I should have only put the assembly lube on the side of the bearing that's actually making contact with a turning part so only on this side of the bearing right here and not that side and to be completely honest I have no clue why I did that I built five six motors in the past i've never made that mistake honestly like thinking back i i have no clue why i did that but thankfully because so many of you guys commented and let me know like what the hell are you doing uh i caught it before i ran the motor so it was a very very easy fix pretty much all we have to do is clean up all of the bearings clean up all the bearing surfaces and throw it back together and only put the assembly lube on the one side of the bearing not the side that is sitting into the case but the side that is riding on the crank i hope that makes sense the only reason for this, if you have assembly lube that is on the side, that is in the block, then it gives it a much higher chance of spinning a bearing, especially high RPM. It can easily, easily turn that bearing if it's lubed up under there. It makes complete, complete sense. I have no clue why I did it. You live and you learn. I will obviously never make that mistake again, but let's get everything cleaned up and then we can start reassembling this motor. Thankfully, we didn't run the motor yet. A lot easier to fix right now when it's out of the car and completely torn apart versus in the car and potentially a spun bearing.
So the block is all finished up. We got the crank and rods torqued down. All good to go there. We got this girdle cleaned up. I am going to go run in and grab a new tube of sealant just because I feel like the sealant I had on here, it's been sitting in my toolbox for quite a while and I just want to make sure that I don't have to go through this again. So let's go grab a new tube and then we can get the girdle back onto the block, get it torqued down, get the oil pump on. And then once again, we're going to start waiting around for all the other parts to come in. send in the Evo 8 for the boys. We're up to like 15 to 17 ish PSI right now. So nothing crazy. The car is running pretty well. Hot starts are a little bit crusty. Cold starts are good. But yeah guys, overall she's running really good. Chris Hoover at More Automotive is dialing this thing in. We keep having little problems here and there with like my IAT gauge not reading, my fuel temp sensor not reading. Just weird little stuff like that. But she's coming along. shifting like a mofo this thing is still pulling super hard afrs were a little bit lean so i definitely let out like super early but guys this thing's hauling ass at only like 17 16 17 psi i cannot wait to get this thing to its full potential and then i guarantee you as soon as that is done i'm gonna get bored of it and then build it more it's always what happens right Alright boys, well the last thing to do is to torque down all of the bolts for the for the girdle and for the oil pump. It's been sitting about 30 minutes so that sealant is good to go. Once again, these all go to 19 foot pounds. You're probably better off going and watching the other video I made of building a bottom end because we just did this. This short block is 100% good to go. I'm very confident in this build this time around not that it wasn't last time but seriously looking back like i can't think of the reason why i put the, the assembly loop under the bearings on the back side of the bearings i don't know why i would have done that maybe i was just out of it maybe i wasn't feeling it maybe i was just a little crazy in the head that day but we're all good to go now it took about half a day so it kind of sucks took up a lot of time but it's a lot better to get that done now versus get it in the car, run it, spin it bearing, pull the motor back out and do the whole process over again. So we should be good to go. <sighs> That's it for today, boys. Once again, we're gonna be sitting around waiting for the cams to come in. They still haven't came in yet. So waiting for those and then we can do the top end, get the motor in the car. I think in the meantime, we can get back to the abandoned Evo 10 project. That car is kind of a disaster right now, completely torn apart. So the next video you see may be on that or it might be on the FRS. Who knows? I'll see you guys then.